James Watson, AKA JMFW Worldwide. I'm gonna show you guys right here, Table Rock Lake, my bass cave and its surroundings. Hey, don't mind the mess. All right, let's check out my bass cave. In the winter time, this is where you'll see me held up in bad weather because I might be tying up some jewel jigs or something like that. I got stuff, I got old stuff, I got new stuff, I got a mess over here. I don't even know what's going on over here. Right here, this is good for my back. And right there, generally, guess what we're watching? We're watching some major league fishing about all the time when we're sitting out here. Cause I wanna see how, who's that? Anthony Gagley already kicks my ass every year. All right, got stuff everywhere. Buzz baits, spinner baits, worldwide buzzers is all you really need. Worldwide spoon rewards. What's this? Let me show you. This is crazy crap that I catch on my worldwide spoon. A uh, wire, uh, I think that's somebody's underwear. Uh, this is my favorite right here. How about this? A baby binky on a lanyard. There was no baby attached to that when I caught it. But that's my bucket, that's what I do. I put all the crazy crap I catch in that right there. Got somewhere, I, just tackle, I mean, jig skirts. Uh, I like to use these toolboxes. These toolboxes are really cool. Uh, sometimes you'll catch them on sale at Lowe's or Menards or whatever. They come in handy. If I ever quit fishing, maybe I'll become a mechanic. I hate doing mechanic work. Tying jigs, look at this. So there's the jewel. Jewel jig, there's a heavy, uh, or a special ops survivor series. I like to sit in here and tie, tie round rubber jigs and stuff in the winter time. Got that out, got me a nice place to sit, have a drink. I got some stuff coming in. Uh, my power poles are up in the shed, the charge system here is my Wagwar flex steps, quantum reels I'm getting ready to do. Lure lock sent me some of the roll ups. Of course, Black Rifle Coffee is gonna hook me up with some product. And uh, as you can see over here, check my lure lock shipment come in. So I got all my new lure lock boxes for next year. Uh, gonna have an overabundance of those. Got my Charger 210 Elite right here. This is my mobile office, on the water office, whatever you wanna call it. But here, my bass cave is something good to just lean on sometimes. Just ponder the thought of life. It's like, what's really going on out here, James? And why aren't you catching more bass? ask myself that crap all the time. So back here, I got even more. I had my rap company, Pro Designs in Eldon, Missouri, make me a big uh, backdrop with all my sponsors on it. And if it changes, I'll get another big sticker or whatever and I'll change because you know what? In the bass fishing business, your bass cave is gonna change with sponsors every once in a while, whether you want to or not. It happens to all of us, trust me. So got my big, Mercury strapped on back here. I don't even know what to say about that. All my TH Marine products up there, another locker bar. Again, well, I'm getting ready to rig a new Charger 210 Elite. It's coming, it's almost ready. Now I gotta put everything on it. All my Russell Marine product, TH Marine, my Garmin units, my force uh, trolling motor, my Atlas jack plate, my Mercury motor, all that stuff's gonna go on my new 210 Elite. You know, check this out, I, I gotta show you. Like, man, Watson, what have you got? Well, I got gloves. I got Depp's Buzz Jets. I got jerk baits. I got, I got hats, sponsor hats, whopper ploppers. I, mean, I got it all. I got it all. This is like heaven right here. Line, I keep a lot of line in there. Got some Bass Pro line, Maxima is what I use. Spinner baits, especially the Trophy Bass, Ozark Flash, check it out, worldwide buzzers. And what I do on my buzz baits, instead of getting the worldwide buzzer in a package, I'll show you this. This is what a package product looks like. I tell them, I said, send me the heads. I'll build my own. So I'll build my own buzzers, so I'm not carrying around a bunch of packaged product. So that's what I do with the Tackle HD Worldwide Buzz Bait right there. And of course, 
can't ever go wrong with Grandpa's Tackle Box. And you all have probably seen some of my videos before where all the world's problems are solved by just merely opening up Grandpa's Tackle Box. It's full of wisdomism. I don't know. It's kind of empty right now. I've got to get some wisdomism. Oh, yeah. See, that's been in there. That's been in there before COVID. Grandpa's Tackle Box, that had it. So he knew something was going down before it actually went down. What else you got in there? Good Lord, Grandpa, did you actually catch them on this crap? The old hellbender, crawdad. Look at this. You think you think you still throw that once in a while? Watch out. That's the next lure I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce into the world of bass fishing is bringing back the hell hellbender. Who's that guy? Freddy! <laughs> I don't know who that guy is. Look at these guys. Red man, what the heck? Heroes, heroes of the sport. I still got lots of cool things to show you. Let's go check out a couple of antiques real quick. Oh, whoa, 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 no. Before we go out to check out the antiques, check out this bathroom. Who wants to see a bathroom? So we're like bass fishing gypsies out here. And when my friends come to town, because I'm, you know, a single guy with a nice place and plenty of beds and plenty of parking and plug-ins, I make everybody sign this wall. This is the wall of fame. So if you stay here, we have a tournament and you stay here. Sometimes I fish them and sometimes I don't. Like here's a Bass Elite, April 14, John Cruz, Ish, uh, uh, Zaldane, Peter North, that's actually Iconelli. But we got me, I won right here in 15, I won here in 13, Jared Littner won here, uh, Bass Open Championship. I got a back-to-back -back BFLs this year with a third and a first. Uh, Coastal Riders Conference we had here one year. Here's everybody. We got Sprague, Castle Dine, Justin Atkins, Justin Lucas, uh, tons of guys. I mean, Iaconelli, uh, Freddie, Brandon Coulter, Brandon Palmick, Bo Cross, uh, Mark Zona stayed here one. He said he'd never leave. I kind of blocked him out here. Zona stayed here once. All the guys from River to Sea have been here. Black Rifle Coffee was here this week. One guy forgot to sign. My buddy Roger Fitzpatrick stayed here with the BFL Regional last year and won. This house got good luck. If you stay in my place, chances are for you winning the tournament have just went up drastically. But you got to sign here when you stay in my place. Let's go out here and look at the antiques. How about my 1995 H1 Hummer? four-door cargo this thing's a beast except right now guess what it's always got something wrong with it and today it's a dead battery check this thing out though but what bass fishermen really want to see how about an antique ranger 364 that's been completely referred because why i don't have anything better to do with my life <laughs> garmin trolling motor three garmin tens a brand new 175 four stroke, two power poles, Miller Tech lithium batteries, hot foot. The only thing new this thing doesn't have is a seat and a steering wheel. And I'm gonna get both of them fixed here soon. But this right thing right here is a rocket. You feel like you're going to actually like 100, 110 mile an hour in this 60 mile an hour bass boat. Super fast 364 Ranger. This thing's a beast. Look at that, I still got rods laid out ready to go. This is my backup boat. Look at that. Four blade, 175 four stroke with four blade. Tempest prop. Nope, that's a trophy. This thing right here is so much fun. This thing is just fun to drive. Hey, let's go inside. You want to see some hardware? Believe it or not, JMFW, that's me. I got some hardware to show you. Let's go look. All right, this is my office right here. 
This is where I do my emailing and uh, what in the world? You got an attitude. You're going to get smoked here in a minute. Ooh, you better quit being ugly. But this, you can see some of my army stuff. My front pages of magazines. My my parade hat when I was a drill sergeant. My grandpa's. That's my grandpa's basic training photo from 1943. And uh, you better quit being ugly. I got inducted to the Audie Murphy Club when I was a young troop. The drill sergeant. There's one of my cycles with my drill sergeant buddy Muma. Sapper, Sapper Leader School, all sorts of just, you know, Army stuff, kind of training, Army training, as they said in stripes. Uh, here's when I graduated drill sergeant school in March 1999, and my front page magazines from the FLW magazine to, to Bass Angler magazine. All right, let's go check out some other hardware. Hardware after Army. I don't even know how to say that. Come on, come on, come on. So, hey. Art's been in the news here recently, some, you know, artwork. Check out this oil painting. My old sponsor, uh, Alan Killing, gave me this oil painting when I won Norris Lake. Pretty cool deal. That probably gone more, more than Hunter Biden stuff right now. My trophies, my big trophies I put out here. One of my most favorite ones right here, my Iron Mike. Drill Sergeant of the Cycle, Cycle 4, 99, right there. Check that out. All right. I got my PAA trophy, my MLF select. Uh, when I made the classic, I got a little thing there. My Bass Open, my Norris Lake FLW win, my almost win, I lost. And then uh, the USA Bass Fishing Team, when we actually got the gold medal for the USA in Mexico. And then finally, finally, a BF BFL win. And some of you think, big deal, them other trophies or something. These are hard to get, for me anyway. My Angler of the Year this year in Ozark Division, and my other two, second place, third place. Hey, I'm proud of this one, the Forest Elwood Sportsmanship Award I got FLW in uh, 2018. And Fishing University, give me that. Oh, here's one, I'm gonna dig this one out real quick. Third place, Okeechobee. All right, this, what's this? Oh man, that is the 2009 Anglers in Action Championship Trophy that my buddy, Corey Utzler and I won. And I actually took my part of the 25,000 and paid half my entry fees to the FLW Tour the very next year. And that right there is the original River to Sea Worldwide Spoon, the original. I actually took it down there, no paint, and caught them on that, and that's the one that we prototyped and built the River to Sea Worldwide Spoon off of. That goes right there. I got one more bait sitting up here that's pretty cool. Oh God, boom! Dude, that's, that's awesome. This Whopper Plopper right here, I won $175,000 with this one plopper right here. And I finally pulled the eye out of it. But anyway, that right there, that's the original plopper. That's, that's the bomb. But that's kind of my big trophies I keep right here. So I can remind myself that you're a winner. Just like my grandma used to always say, Jimbo, you're a winner. Let's go outside. Check out this back deck. This is where we party pretty much year round. This is where, this is where we like to party a lot. Really, the summertime, it could be six people or 26 people out here. I don't care. We tie up on the bank, we hot tub, we swim pool, we swim pool, we hot tub, we jump in the lake, do it all. Man, I had so much fun out here. A lot of us have. One time in a PAA, one a PAA years ago, I had Brandon Polnick, Carl Jackson, Brandon Coulter, Fred Robanis, Matt Airy, Casey Scanlon. There was a ton of us, a ton of us. And I won that tournament, and that night after the tournament, we got to shooting off fireworks, and I had one military-grade parachute flare left that I kind of took from the Army when I left. Dude, we caught this whole hillside on fire. Brandon Coulter was throwing these big projectile fireworks, parachute flare. The whole hillside was starting to just kind of burn down there, and Fred jumps off the deck. Freddie Boom Boom jumps off the deck with these brand new kicks he just bought like the week before, white as Casper the Ghost. 
He runs down there and he puts his fire out with his brand new shoes and melts the bottom of it. And you could see him running back and just a glow when he was running and his shoes just completely totaled. Look, I showed you guys my bass cave. I showed you my trophies. I showed you my office. I showed you my antiques. I showed you the signature room where everybody has to sign if they stay here for a tournament. I showed you the fun we've had out here on the back deck. I've showed you everything there is. Now it's time for you to exit my property. Thank you.